Hello YouTube, this is just a short video I'm making on the Dell Inspiron 1501 laptop that I brought from eBay. Um, what I'm going to be doing with this is uh, a complete upgrade of the memory and the processor it's inside. And I'm going to be replacing the lid on top that's quite badly scratched there as you can see. From corner to corner it's just covered in scratches so uh, I'm going to be replacing the whole lid on there. and. Uh, the processor that's in this is a 1.6 GHz dual core AMD Turion 64 bit. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be putting a 2 GHz chip in there. And uh, let's switch it on. I'm going to be putting 4 GB of RAM in there, and at the moment is 1.5 GB of RAM in there. So I'm going to be uh, upgrading that to 4 GB of RAM. And the reason I'm doing this. Uh, upgrading the processors because playing back um, 1080p content is very um, processor, um, processor heavy you know it needs a decent chip to play 1080p back properly although it will play back at the moment it's, it's not very good so I brought this for about uh, I think it was about 125 quid I brought this about two or three weeks ago from eBay and it's in very good condition don't get me wrong apart from the scratches on the lid I and mean, there's nothing electronically wrong with it I just want to upgrade it and uh, make it run as fast as possible, you know. And I've got a good deal on eBay. I got the processor for 15 quid. So uh, and that's for a 2 gigahertz Turion dual core chip, which isn't too bad at all. And uh, the the picture quality on this thing is very good. It's got one of those clear panels on. Uh, at the moment it's running Windows Vista 64 bit which I don't like one bit. I'm sure you all agree with me out there that it's the worst operating system Microsoft have ever made to date. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be putting Windows, uh, sorry, Windows 7 64-bit professional on there when it's all uh, upgraded and done in that. So it is in good condition on the keyboard. The keyboard's brilliant. There's no marks on there or anything. So uh, the internal plastics are all right. The touchpad's all working okay. The speakers have got very good sound to them, unlike my past computer, which is a Hewlett Packard. Uh, it wasn't very good sound-wise, but uh, this one, yeah, it is in it is in quite good condition inside. It's just the outside lid that needs doing. It is in a bit of a mess, you know. And I've seen these computers with different coloured lids on. Now, if you know anywhere where I can get one of them, let me know. Will you leave me a message on uh, YouTube because I've seen people with red and blue lids on these. Now it'd be cool if I get one of them put on there. The lid, the plain lid that's on there at the moment, I think they're about 14 quid replace. And the process is 15 quid, so um, I've already got some memory spare, so say 30 quid is going to cost me do all this up and clean it up and everything, you know. Uh, it's it, it works brilliant. I mean, I'm quite chuffed with it for the money. I've always liked Dell laptops. I think, you know, you get a lot for your money with them. Um, so, Happy New Year to everybody, by the way. I forgot to mention this earlier on in the previous video. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good one. If you've seen my previous video about me lighting fireworks in the garden and that, you see how drunk I was, you'd see I had a good year anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We'll get this going and then in my next video, what I'm going to do is just disassemble everything. Put my camera on my tripod and show you how I've done everything. How I've put the chip and the memory in there. The hard drive in it at the moment, I've, I've already replaced. I put a 320 gig Western Digital one in there with 8 meg of cash. Uh, it's a SATA 2 drive as well, so that's okay. That can stay where it is for now. At a later date, I will put a solid state drive in there, but for the moment, I don't really need one. So, uh, uh, like I say, the internal plastics are in good condition. There's not a mark on them anywhere there, so... If you can see that there, the onboard LEDs, I can't really zoom out, I haven't got the macro switched on. There's the Wi Fi, the uh, caps lock, scroll lock, and shift lock, is it? Yeah, and you've got some LEDs there for the power, the charging, and the hard drive status, hard drive activity. And the speakers are at the front on this, and these are quite loud. This is the first video I've done so far using the Tascam DR40 for the sound, so 
leave a comment see what you think of the sound quality put your headphones on should sound uh, quite pretty decent okay now at the back of the computer I've moved downstairs by the way because the missus has gone bed at the back of the computer there we've got an ethernet port a modem port and to this day and age I don't know the hell uses one of those but there you go it's still there <laughs> maybe for networking or something we've got two USB 2.0 ports we've got the D-sub monitor port and there's a the ventilation for the processor and graphics card and on this side we have there's the DVD burner this is a good drive by the way this is a Toshiba one and it does uh, it burns standard discs DVDRs DVD rewritables and everything in it. It is a good drive, very quiet that one. And uh, on the other side, we've got two more USB 2.0 ports. We've got a multi card reader, three in one card reader there. We've got the mic and uh, headphone or speakers sockets. And we've got, um, I think that's an express card slot. Yeah an express card when it comes out and underneath there is where you put your hard drive and you just slide that into place there but you can see now under the proper light you can see how badly scratched the top is you know so that's that's definitely going to have to be replaced I can't leave it like that you know I've got OCD about these sort of things uh, but uh, I'll get it all done in the next few days I've got the parts on I would have like I say so I've already got the RAM it's just the chips got turned up in the lid now so uh, it should be a decent little computer when it's done and as apart from what it looks like it is a good performer actually so uh, anyway as I said happy new year and thanks for watching my videos